Hi guys, hope you're well. I decided to vlog this week, vlog, vlog. I decided to vlog this weekend because Charlie and I have got a couple of really fun things going on. Um, today is actually kind of one of those rainy Saturdays. I haven't really achieved very much this morning so I thought if I start vlogging then it might kind of spur me into action. Tonight a few of the girls are coming over and we're going to do the colour run which is around, I think it's the Olympic Park, it's a 5k run but we've pretty much decided that we're gonna just power walk it because myself and one of the other girls, we haven't been to the gym in a good few weeks, let's just say. So I think a power walk is gonna be better. But basically I think they're gonna throw loads of neon paint at us and it's just gonna be really fun. I've just been, Dexter, stop chewing. Dexter, he likes to chew everything. Dexter, where are you? He also likes to hide from me. Let's see if we can find him. Little boy. Are you under the bed? Oh, there you are. Come here. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. Are you still in the show, are you? Should we turn this into Dexter's YouTube channel? Ow! So I was just going to show you a couple of the bits that I got in the post yesterday because I got a couple of really cool pieces. So I'm just going to flip the camera around so that you can see them. Firstly, there's this diary slash organiser, which Simple Skincare sent to me really kindly. Um, there's a little Simple logo on the first page. And it's basically a schedule and organiser ready for the upcoming London Fashion Week, which is really handy. So it's got like a day-by-day -day diary. And I love a good schedule, so it's going to come in really handy that I can just mark everything down. And then this one's quite random. It came from Pop Chips, as you can see, and it's basically a cute little packed lunch box with a couple of packets of their cheddar and onion potato chips. I've tried pop chips before, but I've never tried this flavour. I don't usually like cheddar and onion, but I'm sure these were really nice, so I'm going to give those a go. And then there's also a little block of cheese, which is really handy because I wanted to make macaroni cheese tonight, but I ran out of Cathedral City, so now I have a Cornish Extra Mature Cheddar winner. Cute little cheese board. This is adorable. Dexter already tried to chew this, so... This is probably a little bit small. Actually, you know what, I'll probably put that in my picnic camper. That'll come in really handy. Nice snazzy cheese knife, always useful. And then some caramelised red onion chutney. So, I guess that's what I'm having for my dinner. So last week I had Becca over and her little pug Rupert. And when they were in this bedroom, unfortunately Rupert decided that he wanted to take a little wee on that mat. I hope that's not Dexter doing a wee on it. Um, but basically I put the wa the mat in the wash and it went a little bit crinkled. You know how fur when it goes in the wash it kind of all mats together. So I'm just now trying to unmat it and have a look at what Dexter is doing to help out. It's so cute. So, give me a brush. <laughs> Are you helping? It's proving rather difficult with a dog helping. <laughs> I realised that in my last vlog I didn't really finish showing you guys what happened to the desk so I'll just give you a little update. Basically because it was a really old desk which we then painted white I obviously painted the sides of the drawers but seeing as... Do you want to come in little boy? But seeing as now that they're painted the drawers are a lot thicker than they used to be I can no longer get them in and out of the desk so let me show you what happens now. Basically they're all painted, but they just won't come out of the holes. So now I just have on my bedroom floor all of these desk parts. So tomorrow or hopefully this afternoon if I've got a bit of time, I'm going to sand down the sides like my mum already did with this one. So hopefully I can get them in because this is what my office currently looks like. Really messy and it's stressing me out so much. Also in that vlog one of you guys asked for a shoe collection video and I don't really think that my shoes warrant a full video so I thought I'd just show you in this one so let me give you a little tour of my shoe area. So basically this little corner of my room is where I keep all my shoes. I have the majority of them or at least the ones I'm wearing most frequently on these shelves. Um, at the top those two black pairs they're both from Russell and Bromley. These ones here are probably my favourite boots. They've got a lovely little wedge bit and a nice heel and they just fit really beautifully. I think they're the Highline boots. They're quite pricey but I absolutely lived in those last winter. The grey ones here, you might have seen me wearing them in my last vlog. They are a brand called Ted and & Muffy and they're the ones that they measure your leg and so they fit you absolutely perfectly. 
here these ones are some Jimmy Choo's which I actually got in a sample sale and I couldn't believe it when I saw such a classic design in a sample sale I thought that they would be super expensive but I think I picked them up for maybe about £80 and I wear them quite a lot so I really think that was a good little bargain These ones are some mules which I got from Marks and & Spencer and they've got a really lovely spongy sole so really comfortable and I wear these quite a lot with like Dexter stop chewing! Dexter! Oi! No! Stop chewing little minxie! Stop chewing you naughty boy! Um, yeah so I wear these with quite a lot of my dark trousers then, these are probably my snazziest shoes, these are some Charlotte Olympias, I also got these from a sample sale. I don't tend to buy many designer shoes unless they're in sample sale, especially these ones because they're quite out there and I haven't actually worn these one yet, waiting for the right kind of occasion. Got some Reese shoes here, I really like the heel on these, they've got like a gold snakeskin heel and they're really beautiful, especially in the winter I wear them with lots of dresses. Some wooden chunky block heels from um, Topshop. These got a lot of use with maxi skirts in the summertime in particular. These ones are also Charlotte Olympia and I do actually wear these quite a lot. They are definitely my highest heel but because of the whole like swing in the 60s kind of print I just find that they look really lovely whether it's with jeans or a white skirt so love those. Next up, and these are actually a little bit dirty, obviously I haven't cleaned them very well since I last wore them. They are gold and white leather wedges from Kate Spade. Again, I wear those absolutely loads in the summertime. Dexter. He loves chewing that bit of the carpet, don't you, naughty boy? These ones on the end are just the most beautiful colour. These are from Kurt Geiger and they look incredible with a tan. I picked these up from the Covent Garden store and I basically wore these all summer. They are so lovely. <laughs> Next row down, these were actually, I lied, these are my most worn shoes over summer. These are Oasis and they have a really nice gold bit behind the heel and gold down the side. And this heel size I find the most wearable heel size. And the fact that it has an ankle strap as well means that they're really secure on the leg. So I've got a lot of use out of those. These ones are Carvella. I think I picked these up in the sale last year and I don't actually think I've worn them, maybe once or twice. I think I wore them a few times with jeans but then slightly fell out of love with the colour but definitely need to wear them more. These ones I wore a lot in outfit of the day shoots and generally again a lot over summer. I absolutely love this whole chunky block heel. This is another pair with a chunky block heel. Again, wore these a lot this summer. These ones are from Dorothy Perkins, I want to say. However it says... Dune. I don't know, I'm sure I got those from Dorothy Perkins and these ones are from Next, I'm sorry they're so dirty. These ones are from ASOS, I actually bought two pairs of these because I wore them so much. The first pair that I bought the heel became all mashed up and basically unwearable so I bought another pair when they went down into the sale. These ones I absolutely love, these were £29 from Dorothy Perkins and I thought they looked so much like Poochie sandals. Again incredible little chunky block heel which I love. These ones you might have seen in an outfit of the day shoot that I did recently, Topshop suede and this little strap goes up the leg which looks really pretty. These ones here are my Charlotte Olympia kitty flats. I love these, I don't wear them as much as I should do, I tend to just wear them around the house when I have friends over. Because they're green velvet I don't want to ruin them but they're super comfy and I love them. This pair is from a brand called Pilar Burgos which is a Spanish brand and we actually met Pedro the owner when we went to Seville and he really kindly gave me a pair, it was just, he was such a lovely guy and we spent ages in the shop trying on loads of shoes and I fell in love with these, took them up to the till and he was like no you pay nothing, he was just so so lovely so I'm really grateful to him and I wore these absolutely tons on my holiday, they're such good beach shoes. And then these are from Zara, I picked these up because they were so cheap and I haven't worn them, that's the thing, I always just find shoes I love and they're cheap and I buy them and I don't end up wearing them. This unit down here is pretty much a dumping ground at the moment with the dust sheets and my spray paints on for the desk, but inside here are some shoes I don't wear as often but they're kind of boring so I'm not going to show you that. These are by far my favourite pair of shoes of my whole collection and they are my Valentino rock stud shoes in a lovely patent nude material. No puppy! No little boy, let's get out of there. Okay, you can chew the box but not the shoes. Um, so these ones are 
my favourite shoes and definitely my most expensive pair of shoes as well. I wouldn't normally spend that much money on a pair of designer shoes but these I actually bought for my graduation. I graduated from London College of Fashion a couple of years ago and you know with graduation all you can see is the shoes because the rest of you is covered in a gown so I bought these. I'm just going to try and focus the camera. That's better. So yeah these, no <laughs> little boy. So these are bought for my graduation and I've worn them a couple of times since. You might have seen them in my summer wedding get ready with me video and yeah I wore them to a wedding and I've worn them for a few nice events and occasions since then but I keep them in the box in the tissue paper because I treasure them, I love them and yeah definitely my favourite shoes. Okay, the hair is up, which means it's time for me to get on with something a little bit more productive than showing you my shoe collection, as fun as that may be. So I have written down a bit of a to-do list. I find it really therapeutic and just kind of gets me rolling when I have a to-do list. And I also have some blog photos to take. I've just opened up another little parcel with another fragrance in it, so I think I might do a fragrance roundup. So I'll show you a little bit of behind the scenes of my blog photography. Okay, so the lighting is pretty bad for blog photos today. If you look behind me, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's just really grey and miserable, therefore I need all the cups of tea today. But for blog photos, I'm going to use my trusty lamp, which I got, is it called a lamp? Softbox, that's what it's called. Um, I got a couple of these from Amazon, I only kept one, so um, yeah, I'm going to plug this in, which you'll see the difference this makes on my bedroom. For the photos, I think I'm just going to use my little semi-temporary dressing table behind me. Sorry my room's such a mess, normally I'd tidy it for videos, but you know, oh natural and all that. Um, but yeah, basically I don't have a proper dressing table at the moment because the room where my office is currently being set up used to be my dressing table room, so this is kind of a temporary dressing table, so I'm going to make this table behind me look as photogenic as possible for this perfume makeup shot. Okay, so I'm not sure if this setup is going to be any good, it's not looking hugely photogenic from where I'm standing now, but I might give it a go. So I've just used these gold boxes which I picked up from H&M as a way to just break up the balance of the whole photo, it was all looking very flat. But the thing is, whenever you get roses, they're really beautiful, but they're just too high for any photos, so I might do some nice blurry background shots holding the perfumes up in front of the roses. It's been a little while since I picked up the camera. I think the last time I vlogged was when I was taking some photos and midway through the photo shoot I had a knock on the door and a couple of friends, which I haven't seen in absolutely months and months, dropped in. I think it might have something to do with little Dexter. I seem to have seen so many people that I haven't seen in ages since we got this little man. Everyone just seems to want to come and kiss him. So I'm just now tidying up because in about 20 minutes time the girls are coming over and we're going to get ready for the colour run. So the girls are about to arrive and I'm just getting ready for the run and I've decided I'm going to put on some of these new Eyelier Party Lashes. So these are the Frozen Beauty ones. I'm not sure if you can see but they've got little strips of sparkle in them. So I'm going to apply these for the night. Just put the lashes on and I think they look really cool actually. They've got lots of flecks of glitter in them so I think that should stand out when the lights are on us tonight. So I'm really pleased with those. The girlies have arrived. Here's Vicky and Hannah. Hi! And Dex has been getting lots of love but he's looking a little bit lonely now. Is everybody kissing you? Yes they oh, are. Hello. Lots of kisses. And we have got our colour run t-shirts which we're about to chop up, try and make them look a little bit more stylish so we're going to attack them with the sewing scissors. Okay so we've just left home and we've, as you can see we've done all of our makeup. You guys are posing like this is I thought it was. <laughs> so as you can see we've got lots of glitter on our faces which the girls bought and we're looking really lovely if we do say so ourselves <laughs> and because we didn't have time to eat we thought we would just come to a chip shop so we've just come to get some chips which we're going to eat on the tube. We managed to successfully navigate through the shopping centre without getting too distracted and we managed to find the Olympic Stadium which is harder than it sounds. Hannah just saw the orbit and was like, is that a helter skelter? I mean, look at the orbit right now. This would literally be the world's most extreme health skelter. <laughs>
craving for a burger, so we ended up at Shake Shack. Woohoo! Oh, now, and the girls have just left, just chilling with Charlie on the sofa. He's watching the rugby, and I've got my little man back. So I think we're gonna head to bed now, so I will see you guys in the morning.